Welcome to the fifth quarter, I'm Kyla Javier. In this week's Empire League matchup, the Pacifica Manors host the 2-1 Tustin Tillers. The Manors are coming off a little shaky with two losses in league play, but let's go check out the action. The Pacifica cheerleaders entered the pink ribbon game in style. Players who had a family member impacted by breast cancer wore pink shoelaces to honor them. First quarter. Tustin got on the board quick with a reverse to Anthony Locke, who runs it for a 70-yard touchdown to make it 7-0. After the change of hands, Tustin kicker Adrian Hernandez completes a 39-yard field goal to put the score at 10-0. Pacifica has the ball, and young quarterback Nick Howard throws the pass, but it's intercepted by Anthony Locke. The Tillers drive again and get a touchdown by Terrence Martinez. Score, 17-0 Tustin. In the second quarter, the Manners move the ball downfield, and Josh Alcalde gets his leg into a 30-yard field goal putting Pacifica on the board at 17-3. Tustin managed to score another touchdown, but Pacifica scores one more time before the half. Nick Howard fires a 51-yard pass to Travis Chamberlain, making the score 23-10. The Pacifica dance team came out during halftime to show off some moves. The Tillers scored two touchdowns in the third, but the Manners come out strong in the fourth with a 16-yard pass from Howard to Ryan Trader for the touchdown. The score, 37-17. Watch Jeremy Lawrence move on this kickoff return. He motors downfield, avoids tacklers, and puts the Manners in great scoring position. With five minutes left, Pacifica scores another touchdown when quarterback Nick Howard keeps it for a 16-yard run. Final score, 51-24, Tustin. Now let's head over to Garden Grove where Christian Hartnett is with the Quinta versus Rancho Alamitos High School. Captain Darren, right? Good luck to you. Thank you, Kyla. Rancho Alamitos Vaqueros are having a great year so far. Coach Mike Enright's team is 5-1 going into their second league contest against 2-5 La Quinta. First quarter, the Aztecs fumble the ball on this play, giving Rancho a big break. And the Vaqueros capitalize quickly. A nice fake here, and then a pitch to Brett Hurley does the trick. He goes 30 yards for the only score of the first quarter. Second quarter, Hurley gets the ball again for another run. This time it's a seven yard scamper into the end zone. The extra point puts the Vaqueros up 14 to nothing. It was a hard hitting game. Vin Ha gets leveled here on the kickoff return by Ray Reinhardt. Rancho quarterback Lincoln Falatoy passed for 121 yards, including this 29 yarder to Michael Morales for the touchdown. Rancho is pulling away 21 to nothing. La Quinta did not go quietly. The Aztecs mounted a strong drive, including this first down effort by Vin Ha. He had 52 yards on the night. But La Quinta cannot capitalize and heads into the locker room at the half down 27 to nothing. Rancho has Renaissance men on their team, linemen who also play for the marching Vaqueros. Third quarter, Rancho strikes again, this time on a three yard keeper by Lincoln Falatoy. That's once he decides to hang on to the ball. The Vaqueros scored a late touchdown on a pass to Mike Morales. The game ends in a shutout. Vaqueros 40, Aztecs nothing. The Garden Grove High School Choir was on key tonight. How about the Argos football team? Running back Mark Umanzar gets the Argos off on the right note with a 60-yard touchdown run in the first. Later in the quarter, it's Umanzar again as he completes the drive with the one-yard lunge into the end zone. 14 to nothing Argos. Santiago had their struggles offensively all game, but were able to hold another strong Argo drive and force a field goal. Second quarter, Argo quarterback Chris Martinez goes to the air this time and finds Gabriel Carrillo for the 26-yard touchdown pass to put the Argos up big. Homecoming festivities concluded with the crowning of Ivan Guevara and Brianna V as homecoming king and queen. By that point, the game was already well out of reach. Garden Grove ends the five-game losing streak and wins big, 51 to nothing. Coach Willie Puga was glad to see his team come through. The last few weeks, we've been struggling. I told him we've been taking on water, but we, we're not sunk yet. And uh, I'm so I'm happy that paid off today for them. They, they, they played hard. Like I said, they've been practicing hard, and it, it finally paid off tonight. Senior Mark Umanzar scored three touchdowns and spoke about playing at home for the last time. Uh, finally, with the win on uh, homecoming night, you know, feeling's amazing right now. I feel great. The Bolsa Grande Matadors charged through the banner. They are hosting the Los Amigos Lobos in its homecoming. Fast forward to the third quarter, the Matadors lead 16-8. But here Danny Hernandez goes long to Noe Perez, who cradles it for the catch. 
Two plays later, Hernandez hands to Jerry Saldivar for the two-yard touchdown. When the Lobos go for the point after, it's the fake. Hernandez, the holder, picks it up and floats it into Angel Alvarez for the deuce. Now 16-15, Bolsa Grande. Nice block by Frankie Valdez, the kicker. But Bolsa Grande comes right back and on fourth and goal from the two. Jake Flores hands to Elias Hernandez and he scores. Mats extend the lead, 23-15. Did we mention it was Bolsa Grande's homecoming? There was some dancing and cheering. Michelle Nguyen is the queen. The Mats go for the onside kick. Isaac Rodriguez tops it perfectly, and Yadir Perez picks it out of midair. And Jake Flores takes advantage with this 16-yard pass to Brian Passion, backtracking into the end zone. Mats lead it now, 30-15. to But that's all Bolsa would score in the contest. Hernandez unloads for 39 yards to the patient Noe Perez, plus two. Leonard Zambrano blocks a field goal attempt, and Hernandez gets a nice run back. And Saldivar runs this one in from five yards out. That makes it a one-point game at 30-29 Bolsa. When the Lobos get a pass interference call in the end zone, Los Amigos is in position to score again. And Saldivar navigates his way through the defense to score the game-winning touchdown from 11 yards out. Final score, 35-30. For Kyla Javier, this is Christian Hartnett for the fifth quarter.